So this video has no original video. I was able to find this. Somebody sent it to me, and I'm going to tell you right now, this is absolutely stupid writing. Do not do this, and this is the type of stuff that can happen, and these are the consequences for doing this. So let's go ahead and jump into this and kind of dissect and figure out you know, what happened, how it happened, and the obvious things that we can do better, but then some of the subtle things that we can do better and kind of what my thought process is on this one. Let's jump into it. Now I hope whoever wins the motorcycle giveaway bike doesn't do this, okay? So we're giving away this 2019 Honda CBR300R with ABS to one lucky winner. And I don't want you doing this with that, but if you want an opportunity to win and then also get my ebook for free, check out the links in the description and right below me right here and in the first comment and see if you wanna join up, see if you wanna win this bike or just maybe because you want to get the ebook, okay? I just want you to see what's happening here, okay? We have a bunch of traffic. This is where things start to go from yellow stage to orange stage, and we really shouldn't be lane filtering at this high speed. Why do we lane filter? To get into the front. It's not because we're impatient. It saves our back end just in case we're going to get hit. It also allows us to move to the front, so less congestion on the road. But this is definitely not the opportunity to take it, and we should be taking a lot slower because we can't see very far. We can't swerve left or right and we don't know what people are going to do so we need to slow it down a little bit and that's not what's happening here and it's not what's happening to these riders they are more impatient going into white and yellow stage when they should be in orange and red stage right here red red lights everywhere you know brake lights a huge there it is huge indicators that there's going to be a big problem coming up okay so if you notice right here, why would a vehicle switch lanes, okay? Why would that vehicle switch lanes in front of the motorcyclist? Well, they wouldn't be able to see the motorcyclist. Even if they check the mirrors, maybe they have some type of inattentional blindness. Maybe the familiarity check is not there. And the whole point of that is that car drivers look for other cars. It's as simple as that. They're driving a car, they're looking for cars. Motorcyclists look for other motorcyclists. Pedestrians, I don't know what they look for. They don't even look at anything other than their phones. But that's the thing, is that whatever you're doing, that's what you're looking for. Now, inattentional blindness is kind of the same thing. The brain literally does not see the motorcyclist because there's too much information being processed. And it's like, we don't need to care about that. We need to care about the hundreds of cars that are out here. So all those things combined really makes it to where we're invisible. So I hear about, you know, pretend you're invisible while on the road. No, 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 don't pretend you're invisible. Ride like nobody can see you. There's a big difference. You don't wanna ride around like you're invisible. That means you can sneak in and out and be the invisible man. That's not good. What you wanna do is make it to where people can't see you, but you want them to see you, okay? So you want to be going the speed limit. You want to be presenting yourself. You want to move around in your lane position before an intersection. You want people to see you. Bright colors, high vis, good modulating lights, maybe some underglow if it's legal wherever you are. You want people to see you. So don't ride around like you're invisible. Ride around like people can't see you and then you want them to see you. So you're gonna do your best to make that happen. But right here is a big problem, okay? That car moved over because his lane was going slow. This lane was moving, boom, I'm gonna move over. Simple as that, that's what I would do, but I'd pay attention if there's motorcyclists because I'm a motorcyclist and I look out for them. So we're gonna move forward just a little bit and you're gonna see that rear tire just kind of slide. So he swerved to the right when he saw that vehicle and then he's trying to go swerve back into the lane into the lane filtering position but he's locked up that rear tire so you're not turning anywhere you're just sliding to where you know you're originally pointed so when we hit this right here just remember that's a possibility that's where i really want you guys to understand this is a huge possibility that could happen in lane filtering especially at high speeds and not knowing how to do progressive brake pressure and really only doing this because you like going straight and like going fast and then going weaving in and out of traffic your ego your your everything gets boosted up your adrenaline you're you're chasing adrenaline you're not chasing safety you're not going from point a to point b as safe as possible if you do stuff like this so guys if you're brand new to riding it might sound obvious, but there's going to be a point in time where you're going to feel like, you know what, I want to do some crazy, stupid stuff. This is the reality. You could easily do crazy, stupid stuff and then get really, really hurt for a crazy, stupid reason. So let's not do that, guys. With that said, I hope you guys ride safe, be safe, and I'll be seeing you another time.